The next two tests we're going to run are the MR and VP. They run in tandem. Usually they run in tandem, especially when you're working with gram-negative um, enteric bacillus uh, rot. So when you do these, you run them together. Sometimes you'll run them individually when you're trying to figure out other organisms, but for the most part, they're run together. So this is E. coli, and so what I'm going to take E. coli is I'm going to take E. coli, and I'm going to add methyl red to one of the tubes. So these are the same exact tube. They've been inoculated with the same organism, but we're just going to add different reagents to them. So to one of the tubes, I'm going to add methyl red, right? So I've added methyl red, and if it turns red, it's positive. So that's positive. So the other tube, um, I'm going to add the reagents for the VP. So the reagents for the VP are um, potassium hydroxide and alpha naphthol. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add those. And so when I add potassium hydroxide, I'm going to add about 15 drops. And then I'm going to add about eight drops of naphthol, N-A-P-T-H-O-L. And what should happen is there should be this green color develop, just like that. Okay? Now, this test is going to be negative because E. coli does not produce neutral end products. But in order to complete the test, because it takes a pretty long time to get this done, we have to add a catalyst. So a catalyst, remember, speeds up a reaction, but it doesn't really interfere or get used up completely. So I'm going to add a little bit of the catalyst, and the catalyst is creatine. So I'm going to add the creatine here and do a little shake. And no matter how long I shook this, I'm never going to get a positive test because E. coli does not produce neutral end products. It produces acid end products, which is what the MR tests for. MR positive, VP negative is the, um, the typical pattern we see for E. coli. Okay. So the VP, we use the, an enterobacter species. It's an enterobacter cloacae. And I'm going to add the MR, the methyl red, to the MR portion of this test. And so if I add methyl red to it, you can see that it does not turn red. Now, because it takes a little bit of a long time, um, takes a long time. because it takes a little time, I've already added the reagents for the VP. So here is the result for the VP. So this is. For enterobacter cloacae, this is MR negative VP positive, right? So that's a pattern we see for enterobacter. For E. coli, it's MR positive VP negative, okay?